Hello again, thanks for joining me. I thought this week we'd look at a principle called bullish absorption. Bullish absorption is used to negotiate a path through a zone of resistance. Often it is used to move through a particularly complex or broad zone of resistance and it can form organically or be used deliberately in a market. Now you can see this chart here, I've drawn in a broad zone of resistance, it's quite wide. Now the market can negotiate a path through a zone like this in two ways. It can blast through or ram itself through very quickly on very high volume and push to the other side or it can slowly buy its way through and that's what we're looking at today, bullish absorption. Now you can see here prices gapped into the zone of resistance. You'll often find there's three main principles that are associated with bullish absorption and they're marked here on the chart. There'll usually be a pressing nature to the upside. You can see how this zone here, although there's both up and down bars within it, it's generally pressing higher there's generally higher lows being formed by the individual bars. You'll often find there's clustering of closes quite tightly together, like in here and in here, here. And finally, you'll see threatening down bars that appear like price is going to break down and move lower, like these arrows are showing, but each time instead price almost miraculously appears to push higher again. There's no downside follow through. They're the main three principles you'll find associated with bullish absorption. It's really difficult at times to see it early, but as it develops, it'll often click and you'll realize what's happening and then you can use it to your advantage. I'll show you some more examples. This is the E-mini S&P 500. You see it quite a bit on this chart in the equities market. Now you can see prices dip lower over here and it's formed some form of accumulation zone. Price has broken out, but then it's rolled over adjacent to these highs here. It's rolled over and it's retested the breakout here. Now you can see price is broken out of this little zone but now it's going to have these highs here, these old minor highs that price needs to negotiate a path through. There'll be people in here that did buy and then price came down to test the previous accumulation zone and they've been trapped in here holding. Now they continue to hold, some of them will continue to hold, they won't sell, but they'll have a mindset to sell out for break even if price comes back up to them very quickly. Price is pushed out, there's one down bar, there's no downside follow through, it pushes higher again. Another down bar, it pushes higher again. Down bar, higher. Down bar, higher. And when I draw my charts, you'll often see me use two green lines where I'll mark them like this. And that's generally trying to denote an area of potentially bullish absorption. You can see price has absorbed its way through past this area adjacent to it where there may be some trapped holders and you can see that once price gets past it then moves away more comfortably. There's still some absorption going on but this is how the market works and this type is particularly interesting. You can see down bars here and here that at the time would have looked like price may be about to break down but there's no downside follow through in response. The clustering of closes are all fairly close together through here and there is definitely a pressing nature to the upside and uh, 
price continued to rise for quite some time. And the next one is light crude futures. Now you can see you've got I'll just mark the zones out. You've got price in a downtrend and it's bottomed out here and gapped down. Obviously some serious buying came in here by the looks because look at that very high volume. There's a wide spread because the true range of that will come right up to here. But the next bar was up and then the next three bars were up in response. There had to be buying in there. That wasn't a miraculous recovery. It's come back, it's retested the range here before it's moved out. But then there'll be trapped holders in here and price needs to negotiate a path through. So you've got price zooming into the, the band of resistance. Then you have two down bars, which both traded higher at some point, but closed low. I generally think of these as absorption bars or buy the offer type bars. But you can also see there's a, no doubt there's a pressing nature to the upside. All these bars generally have higher lows all the way through. They might only be marginal higher lows, but they're high lows all the same. And there's no downside follow through to all these little down bars, which at the time may have been concerning to the market and you expect that it might be turning over, but it never does. It absorbs its way through the zone, accelerates away. You can see it continued to push away more consistently after that. That was a daily chart again. And on a weekly chart, you'll see it in all time frames. This is gold futures. Gold does it all the time, very similar to equities. This is a line of resistance, uh, a little bit broader zone of resistance, and an old wide zone of resistance. You can see at the line here, price has pushed up to it quickly and briefly gone over the top, but has closed poorly. Then there's a down bar with no downside follow through. And then two up bars, a little test of the market for supply. And then price has gone through that zone. But you can see, once again, the telltale pressing nature to the upside, clustering of closes down bars that threaten to break down but there's no downside follow through. Here on this zone here, price is pushed up into the zone and then there's an absorption bar, that's a classic buy the offer type bar, and then three bars with a little narrow spreads with a pressing nature to the upside, a threatening down bar that doesn't break down, and then price pushes through. Now, for gold, this period here was when we had the coronavirus issues arise in early February and March. I would say up to this point, price was about to accelerate away, but then we had to deal with the coronavirus issues before anything could happen, and that's why the market did what it did there. And you also see here in this wide zone that price is currently negotiating a path through there was definitely a little period here where price was looking to absorb its way through. Here's your threatening down bars. That didn't cause any downside follow through. For whatever reason, has built some form of shakeout over three bars. Perhaps it was a final shakeout just to make sure there was no more supply left before price tried to work its way through this zone. But there was a little period here where the market used this principle of bullish absorption to remove supply prior to negotiating a path through this old zone of resistance. You can see that once the buyers established the upper hand, volumes had been dropping off. Look down here. You can see volumes getting lower. Supply is low. It allows price to move through in response on low supply. That means selling pressure has reduced considerably. Hopefully you understand that and it makes sense to you.
You will see it quite often in the market. It's a common principle and it f forms in all time frames. And just finally, this principle is often spoken about by Oscar. If you watch Oscar Carboni on YouTube, he calls it his F flag. And I think it's the same principle where price moves up and then forms what he calls his F flag, but I call bullish absorption. And that's Oscar's F flag, I think, is some form of bullish absorption. Thank you. See ya.